Not too long ago, I invested $14 in a 3D sculpting app called Nomad. Reinvested the profits and got an M2 iPad Pro. On desktop, started with the Wacom tablet. Now we got a Canvas Pro with the screen. Reinvested some more profits into ZBrush, which is $399 a year. ZBrush is way, way harder, but it's way, way more powerful. Lately, I've been learning Micro Mesh and Nano Mesh. This is amazing. I could do some really cool stuff with this. I am not sponsored by any of these softwares. If you're starting out 3D sculpting, start with what you can afford. Even start with Blender, which is totally free. At the beginning, it was easy to invest $14 in an app. I love ZBrush way more. However, it's way harder to build an audience online. Most people already have iPads to like play Roblox, Call of Duty Mobile, and co most artists have iPads for Procreate. Math-wise, a lot of people are using their iPads for 3D sculpting now too. Wacom tablet for desktop is already 300 bucks, even just to use it with a free software like Blender. The Canvas Pro is nice, but it doesn't have a 4K Retina screen. The program is very limited, but it has the basic functions that I need for my skill level at the moment. And then all I do is just take it a step further by 3D printing it. With Nomad, it's way faster to get these small ideas out. I can drum up ideas really fast in a couple hours. The ideas have to be more pungent than your skills. ZBrush is more fine artsy. But for fun, I've been mixing the two programs. It's great getting to know both softwares. I can import my objects there and then put it onto the iPad, sculpt it back to the desktop to print it. Start your 3D journey with what you can afford.